Hi, Frank Thacker here, and uh, welcome to the Day of the Peacemaker. Um, good to be with you all. So, uh, and, uh, last week, I guess, the week before, I was listening to a podcast from the uh, Daily Evolver. Um, and uh, you think these podcasts are good? Uh, check out the dailyevolver.com. They are really, really good. He's got all this high tech stuff they can do, and he's um, quite knowledgeable in the whole integral um, life. And he's been doing these, I guess you call them dialogues, with a younger person who has this fantastic name. The guy's name is Ankar Delight. Ankar Delight. What a delightful name. Um, and the last one they did, um, the topic, Ankar was, was struggling with, you know, why am I here? What, what is the meaning of my life? And I, I was struck by that because here on the daily podcast, the last session um, Ubuntu was more about the collectiveness. Ubuntu, uh, I translated or other people translated and in many ways. What, one of the translations I like is I am because you are, which from my perspective, get at the notion of relationships and that we're kind of all in this together. Um, so I have meaning because you are, and you have meaning because I am, and lots of other, other people, obviously. Um, and we all are, are kind of connecting or connected. And so when I heard um, Ankar asking, why am I here? What, what's the meaning of my life? Uh, which is a very individualistic question. And they both have a lot of value, both the collective and, and the individual. But I was really struck by that question, which basically I started asking myself, why am I here? You know, what, what is the meaning of my life or what is the, the purpose of my life? And I'm I mean, obviously, many, many people have asked that question of, of themselves, if not all of us, seeking, you know, why am I here? What's my purpose? Is it a big joke? Is, you know, I'm just a plop in, in the universe and I live for a while and I die and that's the end of it. Um, but so that question really uh, struck home with me. And I have not come up with... Um, a real good answer so far as to, um, you know, why am I here? What is the purpose of my life? And it, it may seem um, egocentric in a way to, to be asking that question of myself or for you to ask that of yourself, but I, um, I don't think it necessarily is. Um, there is a, um, Brian Swim is his name. He's a cos, cos, I never get it right, but he's well into the whole evolutionary process and he's a mathematician, extremely smart, very likable guy. And he has this phrase saying, which reads, or, or to repeat, I'm pretty sure it's pretty accurate, that each of us is the universe telling its story in this particular way for the first time. So turn that around a little bit and it's saying each of us has a story to tell in terms of the universe. So you say, yeah, well, great, big deal. What, what is that all about? Um, and I'm still working with this. One of the things I, I find helpful or important is that I'm here and you're there and anybody that's listening to to this or watching it is in the particular place they're at, at the age they're at, because of a process of uh, 13 and a half billion years ago that started 13 and a half billion years ago um, called evolution, call it the beginning of life and life evolving. 
and this whole process has given birth, or, um, well, I was going to say lack of a better word, but that's a pretty good word, has given birth to me, to you, to, uh, you know, each of us. And there seems to be some purpose behind that. Um, what What's going on here? There, there seems to be this process that started 13 and a half billion years ago that has moved forward in terms of what we call life. So we have moved to the point where we can self-reflect, you know. So the whole process, I, I, you know, and there are a lot of other people that can do it much better, but this whole process of, of moving from unconscious matter, or maybe matter was always conscious, through this whole process of um, thinking and being self-reflective now. I mean, that's, you know, if you look back over that period and really study it, you can see something's going on here. Um, and where is it taking us? And to me, those two, maybe more, where, where, where is life wanting us to, to go? Where is consciousness? That to me, they're the same, the same thing. Seems to be moving in a certain direction, and we are elements that can move that direction forward. But what? What's the end game? I have a, a friend that always says, "What's your end game?" You know, you're talking there and stuff. Then you, "What's your end game? What do you? You know, what's your point? What are you trying to get at? What?" What are you hoping happens? So I'm not sure when I struggle, that's what I've been doing, I guess, struggling with um, what is what is my role, if you will? What is my purpose? Why am I here in this particular place at this particular time? And I think you can one can get so caught up in in this um, question, trying to unravel and come up with a really clear. This is Frank. This is why you are here in this particular place at this particular time. So sit down and be quiet and just do it. So you can get caught up in trying to find that particular answer would just spin around and <laughs> spend the rest of your life spinning around but that's the the danger I guess but I, I I believe that there is something to um answering that question for for myself and you answering it for yourself and it, it's in in the context of evolution I believe and Part of that is, all right, we've come to this point. Is is there something going on that, that that's wanting us to move forward? And being in this particular point at this particular time, what is it? Or maybe it's not even something to do per se, but more um, how you are as a being. I'm very much into nonviolence and is that part of, of my story to spread the good news of nonviolence. I mean, yes, there's a whole lot of other, other things where people are struggling to, to just um, find shelter and food. I understand that. Um, and that's maybe part of the, of the collective process where the process is taking us to a point where um, people won't have to do that. Um, living beings won't have to do that. So, I'm going to, you know, as I was thinking about this and processing it and kind of waiting to do a podcast until I had something a little more concrete or specific, but I said, you know, just let me start there. Um, I find it helpful to, um, to verbalize things. It sort of breaks log jams in my brain. <clears throat> so, um, but I, I had a thought, I'm gonna, there was a, there was, there still is, maybe, I don't know, a TV show, I forget the name of it, To Be a Millionaire, Do You Want to Be a Millionaire, or something, and I, they, 
the contestant that was answering the questions had this, I think they call them lifelines, where it, he or she might stumble on a question and they weren't sure, so they could call a friend, um, an expert that they knew, um, to help them with the questions. So I have a friend, yes, I um, that uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll sit and see if he's interested in uh, doing a dialogue um, with us for this. Uh, so I don't know, something just popped up on the screen there. You get these messages. I hope it didn't show on the video. Um, but anyway, let me leave it at that. So, and maybe I can get some feedback from people out, out there, how they feel about this. Why am I here at this particular point in time and in this particular place? Is there something the universe is asking of me? Uh, you hit the, And I think it's true. We all have gifts, you know, that, that are different from each other. So anyway, uh, let me let me leave it there and uh, hopefully maybe get some good feedback from you people. And as always, it's good to be with you and thank you for your time. And uh, maybe walk in the oneness always. All right, you all take care. Peace.